In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this motion graphics text in DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and add in a fusion composition and head over to it. Let's add in this background, connect the background to the media out. All right, and now let's go ahead and add in our text. So connect the text with the background. And now let's go ahead and type in the text and let's change the font to Montserrat. So this is the font that I'm using and let's change this to black. And also let's change the size to 0 0.1. All right. And now let's go ahead and add in another text. And this time let's copy the text from here. So you can just control C, copy this node and then right click on this node and paste settings. And now if we connect this right here, let's just go ahead to text two and make sure you have this selected and press control space and then search for duplicate and now we have this duplicate and over here let's create three copies and change the y right here now let's go ahead and add in another text and once again i'm going to copy the same settings from text one by control c and then right click and then paste settings in the text three then you can connect it with merge two and this time once again select your text three and press control space and search for duplicate and add a duplicate and once again, three copies, but this time this will be in the downwards direction. So something like this. All right. So now we need to add this rectangle mask for both of these. So let's do this for the first duplicate. You can add this to text two right here. And let's go ahead and move this right here. And now let's do the same thing for text three. And this time this will be in the downwards direction. So let's change the Y somewhere around here, 0 0.56. And then this one at somewhere around 0 0.43, 0 0.44. All right, and now let's go ahead and start animating this. So at 10 frames, let's go ahead and create a keyframe at text in size, then go over to zero and change this to 0. 0, 5, 0, 5. And we need to do the same thing for the text 2 and text 3 as well. So what we can do is just go over to 10th frame, create a keyframe for size for this one as well. And for the text 3, we're going to do the same thing. And once again, let's go to 0 frames and then change this to 0 0.05. And also for the text 3, let's change this to 0 0.05. And now you will see this is how it looks. All right, and now let's go ahead and add another animation. So right here at 20, let's go over to text two and shading, create a keyframe at 10 frames in appearance. And then at 20 frames, change this to outline. And now we're going to do the same thing for text three. Let's go over to shading, keyframe at appearance, and then at 20, change this to outline. So this is how it will look. And if you play this now, this is how it will look. All right, now let's go over to five frames and then create a keyframe for duplicate. So go over to duplicate and let's create a keyframe at center and, and let's do the same thing for duplicate. And now let's go over at 15. Once again, create keyframes for both of these. And then, so now at five, let's go ahead and change the Y axis to 0.5 and do the same thing for this one as well, 0 0.5. And now if you play this, this is how it will look. And you can go over to spline and then from here, you can just simply select the text one, text two size as well, and also text three. And let's select all of these and hit S on the keyboard. So if you play this now, here you will see we get this nice animation. All right. And now let's also do this for the duplicates as well. Right, so now let's see. Perfect. And now finally, we need to add this texture. So right now, let's just select all of these 
and press Control G to group them. So this will be the group. And you can rename this by right clicking and going over here and then changing this to text. And now let's go over to this median. And right here, we can just add in this merge and connect it right here. And let's connect the texture. Now you can go ahead, select any texture that you have, but this is the one that I'm going with. So make sure you have the texture selected and now go ahead and add in this transform. And now right click at center, go over to modify width and then select shake and right click at angle, go to modify width and once again select shake. Now go ahead and change the edges to mirror and go over to modifiers. Change the smoothness to 4 and maximum to 360 for both of these. So this is the one that I did for the angle. And now double click on center and do the same thing over here as well. So if you play this now, this is how it will look. But if you press transform and then press control space, search for stop motion. And then you can just set this to 10. So here you will see this is how it looks. Now go over to merge and change the apply mode to screen. So if you play this, this is how it would look. So this was it for the video. I hope you will find this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.